up, homies? It's Hometown Hats coming at you. My name is Danny Hernandez. My name is Jay Tom Snelson. And we are two of the founders for Hometown Hats. We have a third founder. His name is Philip Ortiz. He's not with us today on Phillip. the road. Yeah, much love, dude. Hey, you guys, whenever we started Hometown Hats, we wanted to make hats for your hometown. I'm from Lubbock, and uh, I just wanted to make a hat that people from the Hub City could be proud of. J. Tom is from Midland. Midland. Tall city. Rocking his tall city sunset yellow snapback. And uh, Philip, being from KC, he's probably wearing his today. We know that a lot of you guys are from different hometowns and we love it. It's been so awesome to get to know you guys through social media. I wanted to jump on today because we're doing something fun today. Uh, we're actually on the road. Where are we going, J. Tom? Hey, we're going to a new place. We're going to a new place. We're going to a hometown that uh, we just released the hat for. Maybe you saw it. Maybe you saw it on our posts. So uh, we're going to Lano, y'all. Oh, baby, Lano. Lano, Texas. Get your hats on. Come on, baby. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. I'm using my knees, dude. I'm driving with my knees. Boom. We're going to Lano. Yeah, baby. We are so excited. We're going to show you a little bit about what makes Lano, Lano, what our homies down there are super proud of. We're excited to bring you guys with. It's gonna be a fun time. We're out here by the river. Check that out, check it. This is the shot from the patch. Now where, where are we going? Brewery? Brewery. Literally all of our favorite spots are right next to each other. We got Texana Outfitters. Check them out for all of your gear while you're in town. We got Fuel Coffee right there. We got the distillery right there. We got the brewery right there. So we're gonna go have some beer. Good morning. We're out here by the Lano River seeing if we can catch us some fish. Longest cast ever. It's not fishing if you don't get your fly stuck on a rock. You're a real fisherman now. Beautiful technique. All right, no uh, luck on the fish, so we're gonna go get some breakfast. Where are we going? Hungry Hunter. Hungry Hunter. Can't Check wait. Let's go. One of J. Tom's big things is pastry, so we're on the hunt for an awesome local bakery. We're here at Chrissy's Bakery. It's a famous one. It's been here since the early, the 60s, basically. And it's owned by Chrissy, and she bought it in the early 2000s. What really caught my eye was this right here, this fresh strawberry cake. This is the same cake that my grandmother made all my whole life growing up. Every birthday, I asked her to make me this cake, and it's an incredible cake. It gets better the longer it sits. It's just, it's the best. But she also told us, Chrissy told us, German chocolate cake. Is really good. It must be because it's not even here. But I asked them what I should try because I love, I love a good picture. And they told me I had to try this gigantic <laughs> apple turnover right here. So I'm just gonna take a little bite. I'm gonna just see how this is real quick. Here. I don't even know where to start. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. You got to go find this apple turnover right here. So I went with the uh, German sweet pretzel. It was a hit. It was real, real hard to pick between that and the cinnamon roll. Our homie Chris Parker with the Lano Line Shack and the Lano River House is going to meet us for lunch. So we're going to go talk to him for a little bit. Here at Tommy's Mesquite Flame Pizza. I'm um, just getting, obviously, pizza. Uh, our friend Chris here is already getting started. He's already getting, getting after it. I think I'm gonna try some of myself, so. Oh. 
Yeah, baby. Little, little screen. Jay Chalm's just been eating this whole trip. <laughs> and he takes like, he takes the biggest bites. People want, you gotta give the people what they want. <laughs> We're here checking out the line check this morning, and this is Chris. He's the owner of these Airbnbs, and we just we just want to sit down and have a little conversation with him. So, Chris, tell me why Lano? For me, why Lano? Uh, I grew up in Texas, uh, and so uh, we would spend our weekends adventuring out into the hill country, the Highland Lakes region, camping, oh, yeah. fishing, hunting, you know, yeah. whatever. And it wasn't until I got back from college. Uh, my dad and I were on a deer lease and uh, I came back and I decided to fish for some trout in the Lano River because I heard that they stock trout and I was fly fishing out there and I was like, man, this is a, this is a beautiful river and I uh, really couldn't get enough of it. I was focused more on the beauty of the river than I was fishing. Yeah. And uh, cause it's just, it's very different than any other Texas river. Uh, it's just gin clear, mm -hmm. the granite rocks and um, as I was driving back home through some back roads, I decided to take a different way home. I saw a house for sale by owner, and uh, my wife and I were actually starting to think about what would it be like to you know, grab a property, fix it up, and that's where the river house started. Oh, man. What are some of the things you love about this city? Man, at first I, I would say I just love the history. I, I love the, the history that, you know, way back when, you know, these were some of the people that were hauling granite, you know, mining granite for the capital mm -hmm. and, and getting it out to the Texas State Capitol via the railroad. Um, you know, Bonnie and Clyde stopped by in town and really? stayed at the Dabs Hotel. Um, but yeah, the, the history, uh, you just like, when you spend time in Lano, you feel like, in some regards, you're like, I'm just stepping back in time. Right now. I did have a question about the line check. I mean, yeah. I can see right here on this photo. I mean, this this house <laughs> needed some love, right? This shack needed some love. I mean, yeah. back then, right here, it is a shack. It's just yes. a shack at this point. Yeah. So, like, what was the process of finding this property? Like, yeah. So this this honestly was, uh, I mean, I would say kind of one in a million kind of thing. Uh, we had a family friend that we actually went to church with way back in the day in Austin, and they were the previous owners of the shack. Her name is Dana, and uh, she actually found it like this. Okay. And it was sitting right here where we're, where we're sitting right now, like, like this. And uh, she contacted the landowner and said, hey, I want to do something with it. And so... There's a whole story on how Dana really rescued mm -hmm. this shack and made it what it is. It yeah. is beautiful. Oh yeah. So I cannot take credit for, and I won't take credit for, uh, what a, an amazing job she did. Um, but the history behind this thing is pretty interesting because um, you know it's got a lot of windows in here for for mm -hmm. the, the size shack yeah. this oh, yeah. is. Um, but this was most definitely a railroad, what they called the line shack. And the railroad workers back in the day, they would seek refuge in here, uh, you know, after working on the railroad. Okay. They may have even had equipment in here, like radios and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They would actually talk to the trains as they're coming down the line, and they'd use the windows as lookouts to make sure all the, you know, everything was functioning as it should. And so, um, again, a piece of history, yeah. you know, to know that you're staying in something that was built way back in the Depression era, yeah. pretty, pretty cool. Um, and the, the floorboards that were in here originally, those are on the ceiling. Oh, really? Yeah. So wow. that old wood up there, you see that those are some of the, those are the original floorboards from the shack. And so it's just pieces like that, that, uh, are really fun. And, and you start learning like, you know, Southern Pacific lines. This was, um, this is part of the, originally it was the Austin Northwestern line, mm -hmm. but then Pacific, Southern Pacific lines took it over. And so, you know, I'm starting to learn a lot about railroad history which yeah. six months ago would have never been the case like it's like yeah it's yeah. a train car you yeah. produce whatever but now i'm kind of geeking out <laughs> on railroad stuff and finding old you know 
maps and stuff. Oh yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, one last question. Yeah. For all of our homies, all the people who may see this video, who yeah. who see this air, this incredible Airbnb, they say, okay, I'm gonna come stay in Atlanta. What's the one meal they have to have? Oh, one man. place they have to go. Yeah. Um. Well, I can't give you one answer because I have a few favorites. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, yeah. It, it, it honestly comes down to kind of uh, what you know, what you're pining for as far as money goes, or even taste wise. Everyone comes to Lano for the barbecue. So if you want barbecue, check out Cooper's. There's also great local joints that other people get barbecue at, like mm-hmm. Inman's, Miller's Meat Market, if you want to try your own hand at making your own barbecue. Okay. That's good stuff. But, um, you know, if you're if you're really, if you're celebrating a special occasion or you really want to surprise that special someone, then go to Badoo, 1891. Um, it's actually an old historical home that was once a oh, bank. Um, the guy that built it was actually the manager of the Driscoll Hotel in downtown Austin. Okay. So again, like there's some really weird ties that Lano has to uh, different places in Austin, but uh, their food is top notch, five star. You're gonna pay for it. It's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's worth every penny and uh, really, really cool atmosphere. So, awesome. Well, yeah. Thanks, Chris. Thanks yeah. for taking the time talking to us. Yeah, right on. We love it. Love the line check. Yeah. Check it out. Thanks, guys. Well, hey, homies. Thanks so much for hanging with us as we checked out our very first hometown, which was Lano. It was awesome. It was better than I think we hoped, actually. Yeah. It was yeah, awesome. It was great. What was your favorite part? Yo, the food here is awesome. They have some great restaurants. I think that we ate a lot today. I mean, I think that's all I did was eat just eat all day long. So um, I'm gonna have to go do some extra workouts this week just to, to work off what I ate, but it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth totally. it. Totally. All right, homies, be sure if you come to Lano, and you should, because it's worth the trip. Stay at the Airbnb that our boy Chris hosts, both the River House and the Line Check. They're awesome, they're incredible. They're one of the best Airbnbs I've ever stayed at. Yeah, book by February 20th and you'll get 20% off. Just mention Hometown Hats and you'll hook up with a fat discount. We're gonna be doing more of these videos in the future, visiting other hometowns that we've made hats for. So if you wanna follow us, hit subscribe, hit the like button on our YouTube video, and we're gonna be back. Thanks for joining us. Woo! What's up guys? This is Chrissy's Bakery here in Atlanta. Obviously, right here. <laughs> 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 